Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Skoda Superb EV plug-in hybrid uh, Sportline version 2020 and I will make the full review interior exterior. I will show you all the details and um, I hope you will enjoy it. So um, let's do it guys. First time I want to start with the exterior and um, I just want to show you the light. Let's go inside and let's open it. the blinkers, guys. Let me open the blinkers. The button for the blinkers, it's just there. Let me close the door. Then we will go also inside and I will show you all the details from the interior. And look at these LED lights, guys. Look at the tail light. It has the LED following light in the back. Uh, also LED light from uh, all over here is just LED, even the reverse light and everything um, on this uh, superb version, it's LED light. You can see both from here. They look really impressive. To be honest, uh, it's, to be honest, this new superb uh, is the same as an Audi. That's my impression. Uh, it's not a big difference between this uh, new Skoda Superb uh, and Audi A4, for example. The quality in the interior, you will see it in the moment, it's, it's also great. And also the LED, the light, the design looks super nice. LED light also on the mirrors. On the mirrors, we also have a camera because this car have a 360 degrees camera and also an LED light that illuminate the floor in the night. This car have 360 degrees camera in the mirrors in the back in the front when you're parking in reverse you will see all it's around you so or you can park the car very easily also we have the blinkers right here and also led light in the front they are also those blinkers when they are close the turning signal uh, it will be there in the same place the daylight the led daylight will be in the same place so um, i will show you that a little bit later so let me close the blinkers now that you see it um, and then you will see in the front and we will go in the front and i will show you that in the same place where was the blinkers it is now led because it's the daylight okay uh, we have the Skoda Crystal Lightning. This is the, the latest technology from Skoda. And we have adaptive LED light, high beam, low beam, also even the uh, fog lamp down here, it's LED light. And in the night, they are fantastic. It's automatic, high beam, low beam. They know where it's a car and the light, it's just uh, working. It's a matrix LED and it's working perfect to not blind the other traffic participant it's just work you put it on automatic and it's work fabulous uh, i have to tell you that also uh, the design the front design uh, of this sport line it's beautiful it has these nice lines here on the hood that looks super impressive i think you can see it from here i like it very much i like the way they designed the, the hood the hood looks super nice and here in the end we have the skoda logo and then we have the new grille, but we will go there in a moment. Here we have six parking sensors in the front, guys. I think you can see it, six parking sensors in the front and also six parking sensors in the back. That's really, really good uh, because the car, it's really safe when, when in terms of sensors and parking. Here we have the, the, um, the front kind of the grill where the air come inside to the radiator to cool down the engine is just down here because up here we have kind of an electric uh, uh, grill you know the electric cars grill is just so flat um, because here in the middle we have the radar right here for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that stuff and also this car want to say that I'm an electric car, kind of hybrid. I'm a, um, a friendly nature car, if I can say like that. And here we have the charging port, guys, right here. The charging port of the battery, because this car have a 30, 13 kilowatt hour 
battery, um, lithium battery that can drive up to 56 kilometer. You can see also writing there. So together with electric power and the tank, you can drive around 850 kilometer. But you can drive only in electric mode with this car around 56 kilometer also highway speed so you cannot go faster than 120 kilometer then the boat engine the petrol engine will start so we have a electric engine right here i will show you a little bit later but let me talk a little bit about the electric uh, charger so we have the fast charger right here and you can charge your car with the fast charging in around four hours and also you can charge it home around eight nine hours uh, to home but you can go to the uh, high speed chargers type 2 and you can charge the car around 3-4 hours the battery is fully charged so uh, we are ready with talking about charging and the front grille but I like the way the front grille look to be honest uh, I like the front end of the car <coughs> it has nice designs also another cool stuff is this air entrance right here the air come inside here and go around the car that help the aerodynamic of the car a lot and also a little bit of uh, glossy plastic right here on the side make the car look super super uh, nice and sporty and um, this is pretty impressive to see that these days on uh, on the car on the touring cars also we have a camera right there and raining sensors the camera right there it's for adaptive cruise control uh, for um, lane assist and for reading the traffic speed limit uh, i think skoda choice very well also the colors this white with black combination the mirrors are black uh, the rims we have 19 inch rims right here they look really good on the car in my opinion they they fit perfectly so the 19 inch on this skoda superb look really good this is my my opinion i don't know but i like it also i like the the way they they design the glossy plastic around the windows and also the tinted windows look really good on the car <coughs> let me go closer look at the Look at this glossy plastic around the windows, how good it looks. And we have big windows, great visibility from the interior. Also, I like this line, the way they design this line on the side, you know, how nice it comes from here, from the front, because the hood, it's open it up from here. It's pretty impressive. Before it was around here, most of the car, it has the opening here, but Skoda now choice to go right here so quite impressive also the sport line version we have here the logo uh, on the side and we have also keyless entrance in the car you just have to have the key with you electric folding mirrors just have to put the hand here and then the car it's on lock again this thing the same thing you can do it in the back that's the, the cool stuff you can do with all the four doors you can lock and unlock the car if you have the key with you and this is a good thing uh, also i like down there i like the way they design this part right here kind of insertion they insert a little bit of black glossy plastic and they take it out and kind of protect the door uh, to not hit it in something and also it looks very very good in my opinion also i like that skoda it's pay attention to the details and they add this plastic right here to protect the paint this paint right here it's kind of dangerous because the wheel throw a lot of stones in this area and and this plastic protect the paint very well in time and really down there it's very uh, practical now beautiful lines on the side very beautiful and very sporty the roof spoiler look super nice even if it's white it looks nice it fits well with the car nice design of the car in the back as well with the led light and all that uh, stuff you see it before also you can see the design that kind of crystal design they, they try to go with that and we have six parking sensors in the back as well as i told you there begin one and then we have six parking sensors right there 
also some fake exhaust pipe in the back i think you can see it fake exhaust pipe um, they look really nice i like those fake uh, exhaust pipe i prefer to be fake exhaust pipe and electric car than real exhaust pipe and uh, ic engine so that's my opinion also i like the way they take from the audi all kind of shape you know audi uh, like to use a lot of sharp edges and shape on the on the bumpers and on the cars and they take this this design these sharp edges and lines and those lines and edges make the car look much more spectacular and much more sportier in my opinion you can see it also uh, on this side also the tank you can fuel the car from here the tank is right here it's a button inside the inside the car where you can open the tank i will show you a little bit later as well also on the roof you can add some extra storage here they chose to go with the glossy plastic also here and this is a good choice the car looks much better also we have a, a glass roof there that looks beautiful and also the the radio antenna uh, also in glossy plastic led light on the brake light up here on the roof nice uh, nice big windows here you have a great visibility in the back as well then uh, we have some light reflectors on the bumpers there pretty big you have it on the side you have it on the back so people can see you better in the night um, the exhaust pipe you already see it and then under there it's the real exhaust pipe from the uh, petrol engine we will talk about the engine as well in a little bit we have the ev uh, logo right here skoda superb ev from kind of electric but it's hybrid and then we go here we have the superb the writing it's in black because we have the sport line also the skoda writing it's in black and it looks so nice so so nice in black i like the color i like this black the way they, they put it there and also i like another thing i like this black glossy plastic that start here and end up on the other side i like the way they design it so to be honest the back of the car it's it's impressive i like the back of the car very much um, and then we have a reverse camera and led light on the number plate just to keep in mind that uh, you have these uh, options on the car now that i show you the car we will go inside and i will show you also the trunk and before the trunk guys let me show you the engine and let me talk a little bit about the engine so um let me go in the front open it up it's very simple to open this up it's just handle there also this is automatic i like that the hood is doesn't it's not manual and here we have the electric engine and also the 1.4 liter petrol engine 150 six horsepower and this one 160 horsepower the electric one and together uh, 218 horsepower those the both engines are here uh, somehow uh, under here is the electric engine and there is the 1.4 uh, liter engine is the same one as you find it on the normal cars but they combine together those engine in the nice nice and they make a nice hybrid uh, also here is the fuse box uh, liquid coolant i think it's there the coolant for the engine and here is the uh, brake fluid or i think this is the the coolant for the electric motors anyway yeah something like that here's the air filter and anyway i don't think you want to hear so many details and the battery for this electric uh, motor it's in the back right here it's go under the cables and under those seats is the battery the 13 kilowatt lithium lithium battery uh, it's right here under the seat and we will go in the back and i want to show you also guys hear that you just hear the door the quality of the doors it's it's quite impressive it's like an audi it's really nice they work a lot of this but before going inside the car i want to show you that the car have this lift gate so 
you just press it up and you have an automatic lift gate that's really impressive and not only that you have an automatic lift gate but it also have a sensors right here down here where you can open it up let me close it first time and then i want to show you that you can open it up from down there okay it's closed and here somewhere it is a sensor where you can open it up i don't know why it's not working right now but anyway you just keep in mind that there is a sensors and you can open it up also with your uh, legs now the space in the trunk it's awesome we have up here two led lights very nice no handle just this button you see it before also here you have a protection for the trunk that you can also take it out you have two kind of two uh, zones where you can leave it one here and one other here then look at this look at this trunk you know guys i review skoda for a long time um, and skoda have so much space in the interior so look at this look at this trunk look how big it is look how nice it is and the fact that you have a flat floor right here to load your stuff it's really impressive i like that i like the fact that you have metals uh, aluminium here look at this so nice it looks so nice so premium you have hooks everywhere in every corner you have the uh, medical kits and stuff and a space right here on the right side then you have another space right here uh, on the right side where you can open it up here's the battery the normal battery the 12 volt battery then you have this cool led light that you can also take it out um, okay take it out just like that and you can use it if you want to you can use that pretty impressive um, and then you have those handles are for the seats i will show you later you have hooks everywhere here you can put it back um, hooks and 12 volt port around here and another hook for the grocery and going under the floor i know you're curious what is here they are the cables this cable come with the car standard so you have this kind of fast charging cable that come with the car also a triangle right here and then uh, that's it under there is the uh, the battery and all that stuff and also the repair kit and stuff like that all right let me close it back so this is the space but quite quite impressive is that you have plenty of space in my opinion it's it's really big space here so you don't have to worry about um, you have to worry about the space now let me show you those handles how cool they are just press this and the seats will fall down just press it and then sometimes you have to push it it's not always work perfectly but look at this you have a flat 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 floor there and huge space inside the car i'm quite impressed with the space to be honest i know skoda have amazing space in the cars uh, but wow quality space look how big is the door i don't know if, can, if i can show you on the camera but the entrance in the car it's super big like an suv and also the quality of the doors we will, i will show you later but let me finish with the trunk here another cool stuff is that you have a soft material wow really impressive i didn't expect that i will show you that later as well you can take this out from here really easy and take it out and then you can carry here so many stuff guys really impressive and also you can go with this like that you can put this armrest head arm uh, headrest sorry uh, a little bit in the front and then you can you can fold it all the way down and you have a flat floor look at that i have to do this the, the, the boat as well but i didn't i just leave it like that you can see it right here the difference between them and you can have a flat floor right here so how impressive is that i really like that i think they did a great great job super 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 space here wow really nice and not only that but look at the space here behind the the, the 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 driver and also there i think that seat it's too much in the back if i go in the front right now let me go i'm really curious i want to adjust so 
Let me go a little bit in the back. Maybe someone is taller, yeah? But yeah, for me, I have to go a little bit more in the front. But right now, if you look at this, to, for my driving position, I have to go more in the front. But I will leave it like that, maybe someone is taller than me. And you still have plenty of space here. Look how much space you have here. It's quite impressive. And look, the, this passenger seat, it's too much in the front, to be honest. Too much in the front and you still have plenty of space there to put your stuff under under right here on the on the legs so really wow i think this is the most spacious car in this class to be honest it's it's incredible now folding up the seats it's just uh, that easy and let me finish up with the trunk also you have this in the middle the opportunity to carry long items right there in the middle if you fold this down you can carry skis and stuff like that very easily. So that's another cool stuff that I like it very much. And also, let me close this uh, trunk for you. But before, oh yes, I do it with my legs. You see it? I put my legs right there and it's working. But I forget to show you something. Let me see now it's work. Come on, man. Yes, it's work. I did it. Okay, I open it up with my legs. So here it's we have also the hook something that i forget to show you you can open this up just like that with your with your hand and if you pull this up yes you put it up and wait a second the hooks it should go out just like that you see it it's out you just have to pull it and the hook it's out and then you put it back and then you have to pull it to go in normal position and when you're gonna go back just push it like that pretty simple so yeah i just don't want to forget that i have a hook so where is that sensor come on man come on man work with me it doesn't matter i just close it like that good we will go inside and i will show you the space in the interior and don't forget this is my driving position and the other seat it's way too much in the back i think you can sleep there you have huge space on the legs um, going in the back start with the doors look at the doors we have also this protection right here on the glass like a premium car like a high class cars super nice you can leave it down you have a big window super super big window great visibility you can fold down this window until down uh, this one stay right here but the other one you can put it down the quality here is soft material if you see it i push it soft material all over here until here soft material we have the speaker right here guys the handle in chrome pretty nice uh, some plastic glossy here in carbon fiber design and then we have alcantara all over here it's just alcantara guys super nice and even here we have the leather with white stitches a little bit of glossy plastic um, the design and the, the details are really impressive i feel like i'm reviewing the mercedes or an audi look at the button here also plenty of space here soft material right here no plastic just fabric material light reflectors we have a speaker right here uh, on the door in the back the doors are big entrance is big we have the superb uh, logo right here from skoda superb uh, with some aluminium and then going inside something that impressed me very much is the fact that they put leather even here until here on the edge you have leather here soft material leather uh, leather alcantara in the middle look how nice the design are and also stitches isofix for kids here in the middle guys you have this possibility to put your cup holders here two cup holders an armrest leather armrest good quality nice design on the on the on the seats i don't know about you but i like the design and they are also very big you know i think the the the, the, the comfort is good we will go there in a second leather behind the seats everywhere leather and we have a storage space there um, the seats are sports seats look how nice they are look at the design super nice also 
the roof you can see the glass roof it's all over the the roof guys and it looks fantastic it comes so much light inside the car let me go inside here and let me show you here in the back you have a van some uh, glossy plastic with some chrome around here then you have the heating seats in the back you have heated seats as well and from here you can change the climatic system in the back the temperature the way you want it here we have two USB-C port and we have this 150 volt outlet where you can charge your laptop uh, quite impressive to be honest I didn't expect to find that here uh, in the car and um, yeah up here handle LED lights as well super classy super fancy uh, and also the roof it's very good quality soft material black soft material good quality look at the roof wow i have an amazing visibility but let me close the door and let me show you the the legs room what what is that man half of my hand is here what i'm talking about what are you talking about look at this this one it's too much in the back this is kind of in my driving position yeah the same as i drive and and look at look at the space i can stretch my leg and play with my legs even under the front seats so to be honest this is the most spacious car uh, in this class and i know that i know skoda make fantastic cars and even on my head look at my head four fingers almost five fingers here and the comfort it's very good very good to be honest the visibility on the windows it's fantastic i have another window there in the back a lot of light come inside great visibility great space inside the car quite impressive i like it very much to be honest until now i like the car a lot going in the middle we have a big 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 step here this is kind of the only downside inside this car we have a big step when you go in the middle going like that and then look at the space plenty space on my knees here it's smaller space but this one it's way way too much in the back way too much in the back um, and this is my driving uh, position and i will show you later uh, that i'm right also here plenty of space four fingers no problem stretch my hand in the left side also in the right side my hand is stretch plenty of space for free people here no problem and also the comfort it's pretty good on the side the comfort it's it's amazing um, also now we will go in the front guys and i want to show you the the dashboard and all that details in the front um, yeah what can i say let's go in the front guys now going in the front guys we will start with the door of course we have a big windows in the front one piece window great visibility also the blind spot technology it's in the mirror right there i forget to show you um, and um, yeah the quality on the doors the same as in the back soft material right here up here all over soft material we have a speaker a small speaker right here another speaker here the handles chrome handles they look nice then the same plastic that uh, that we have in the back as well this plastic is kind of a carbon fiber yeah it's a, kind of a fake here we have the LED light ambient light I think you see it in my other video with the review with the test drive I try to show you a little bit later then we have Alcantara all over here all over Alcantara very good very good quality the sound system you can see here another speaker and another speaker look how cool we have four speakers only on the door in front one two three four speakers super impressive i like that a lot of space storage space here kind of a fabric material we have a light here that the other car can see you when you open the door then here we have leather leather white stitches nice same glossy plastic the electric windows child lock uh, adjustable electric adjustable mirrors pretty nice the way it should be superb logo again some chrome design electric seats adjustable seats from here you can adjust your seats the way you want it pretty simple 
uh, and it's also very responsive. We have the buttons to save the position of the electric seat. Then we have aluminum pedals, great quality, a lot of space here uh, where you can put your stuff, kind of cool space. Here uh, we have this uh, light where you can uh, adjust the lights, very simple design, it's kind of the old one, old design, not with the buttons, the new one. On the Skoda Octavia we have the buttons, you can check it out, but this is not a problem, it's very easy to, to adjust it. Also you can adjust the steering wheel from here manually, the way you want it, up, down, left, right, super simple as well. Can you just close it and look at those seats, one of my favorite part in this car are the seats, they look so nice, they have such a nice design and the quality and the materials. We have Alcantara with leather. So guys, if you can see here, we have leather on the headrest. Uh, we have Alcantara in the middle, the nice stitches, side support. Um, and then down here again, side support. You can adjust the front part. Of course, those seats are heated seats as well as in the back. And yeah, the design is pretty nice. And also look at the the nice glass up there, the glass, the glass roof, it's super nice. It looks uh, impressive, in my opinion, really impressive. Also, the, the center console look very nice, in my opinion. You have here leather, the, the, the armrest right here, we will go there uh, right now. Let's go inside the car, let me kind of close the door like that. But here we have the stick where you can change um, the, the cruise control from here, you can adjust the settings also, the adaptive cruise control and all that stuff. Then we have the steering wheel guys, that it's super nice quality, very nice design, little holes. Uh, and then here it comes like sporty, uh, beautiful design on the steering wheel in my opinion. And also we have these simple buttons where you can adjust different settings. On the, on the cockpit, on the digital cockpit. And here you can adjust different settings uh, on the multimedia system. So it's pretty simple, very nice design. The Skoda logo with some glossy plastic. And here we have kind of a sport handle. Um, it is nice, it is nice. Very nice uh, steering wheel. Then we have the same uh, plastic with ambient light here, LED light inside here. And we have same kind of carbon fiber design uh, on plastic that go all over through the dashboard uh, on the other side I think you can see it and also we have the Sportline logo there uh, on the dashboard here we have the glow box push the button huge glow box guys to be honest also refrigerated glow box we have a light there uh, also there's the passenger airbag on off the way you want to leave it and then we have the start stop engine button right here pretty nice then the clappers on the steering wheel the pedals i forget to show you those pedals are for changing the gears manually if you want to for example you want to change manually you can do that now great 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 quality also on the a pillar here and also we have this kind of plastic support here where you can put your uh, parking tickets uh, or stuff like that then Great visibility on the windows, to be honest. You have a great, great visibility in the mirrors uh, and outside of the windows. Even here, you can see the visibility in the back. It is quite, quite good. And great visibility around the car. Look at that. Very nice. Very, very nice visibility. Um, I like it very much. And also you can see the seats and all that stuff but going down here on the center armrest we have a usb port and plenty of space here and also this is refrigerated uh this place here and also another space here where you can put your tablet or something long and this one it's refrigerated super impressive also this is kind of uh, another space here we have two cup holders the key I think you see the key before. Also on the key we have this one here that can help you with the, uh, you can turn on and off the air conditioning inside the car when you are outside. So this is 
super nice as well. The center armrest, very nice design as well. The same plastic with kind of um, the same carbon fiber design. Uh, here on the side we have soft material, so it's no plastic, look at that, soft material on the center uh, console, that's good. Uh, electronic handbrake, auto hold, lock the car, buttons right here, then we have the DSG uh, shifter, gear shifter, a big stick right here. Um, and then we have the buttons, the sport mode, the electric mode. Here you can change the driving modes. If you want to see all that, check out my drive test with the same car. Here you can open up the tank in the back button. Then we have the parking sensors button. Here you can open up the trunk from inside the car. And then we have the automatic parking. The car can help you to park automatic. USB-C port, 12 volt port, uh, wireless charging port right here. You can leave port. <laughs> you can leave your phone here. It's wireless charging right there and also you can close this just like that if you want to and it looks much much better super nice and super easy um, great here we have the climatic system let me let me kind of start the put the contact there is the blind spot technology in the mirror um, and here you have the climatic system uh, it's pretty simple uh, nothing fancy nothing complicated but i like the fact that it's glossy plastic and we have also the air care inside the car this is the new system pretty good um, that you have fresh air inside the car heated seats button and also the position of the climatic system you can change from here i don't want to go into detail but it just it is just there now on the dashboard soft material of course everywhere we have soft material on the dash we have a speaker there with a vent and uh, we have some vents right here they feel good as you touch it good quality i like that the blinkers button and um, other stuff the visibility from the driver point of view it's very good you can see perfect on the digital cockpit right there perfect on the screen right here we have the the the, the new digital um, screen from skoda and it's it's one of the best on the market today um, you can change the view from here from the steering wheel you can change different type of view you can choose to see the navigation all over the screen uh, or you can choose to see it just like that and you can go to the details right there for example um let me show you navigation assistance systems uh driving uh, information and you have also the status of the car the telephone the audio and navigation so you can you can kind of choose what you like to see there in the middle then you can choose again the view you can see it in different views uh, and stuff like that let me just like that let me show you you can customize the way you want it uh, that screen we will go into detail in other video but now i just want to show you uh, a little bit faster i don't want to make too long the video but the resolution it's great uh, the colors are great and um, you have a great visibility right there also if you can see the 30 kilometer is the speed limit on this street because the car have this camera right here that can read the speed limit and all that stuff also the multimedia system i will make another review check out on my channel with the multimedia system and also with the screen you will find it on my channel just subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet you will see all the news uh, as soon as it come on my channel the navigation and the screen it's a glossy screen we have on the car the nine inch display screen this is the biggest one that come on the skoda superb you can take the smaller one if you want to uh, it's optional and then the navigation it is very good you can see um, how smooth it is it doesn't have any lag at all it's one of the best the same as you find it on the uh, Volkswagen and also on the Seat or uh, Audi so it's work quite quite good uh, then you can choose an, for example a destination let me choose a destination right here and then you just go start and then let me try again choice a destination maybe here yes all right and then you go start and then you wait a few seconds and it's just working right now so you can see it right there 
the destination. It's it's quite good. It's worked very well. I tried before and it's it's one of the best navigation out there. Also, if you go into menu, you have all kind of information about the car. For example, the, the driving assistance right here, you can see the lane assist, the speed limit, uh, and all that blind spot technology and all that stuff. Then you have, for example, um, the navigation, the smart link. We have um, also Android Auto, Apple CarPlay on this uh, car right here. You can customize the way you want it and you can use it the way you want it. That's really good that you have this option um, with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Then you have also, you can see the picture, you can go to e-manager right here, information about your charging, the battery, the setup here, you can change the language, uh, the time zone and all that information and all that stuff. Um, and then um, wireless and stuff like that. Good. Uh, radio, media, information about the car. Here you have all the information. I think you already know that, but we will go in the detail. I will show you all that stuff in the uh, multimedia system uh, video. And uh, what can I say? I think up here, guys, we have an LED light and a mirror. Also very nice, very fancy handle great quality on the roof here i think i show you before the buttons no i didn't show you i think i show you in the right now i think it should work um, you can close this up from here we have this button to close the roof if you want to so you can see right now you can also open it up in the summer you can open it up if you need a little bit of air pretty simple up here we have again the the service button the SOS button in case of an accident and also information about the car if you want to call them. Then you have some LED lights up here on the roof, guys. Very good, fancy. Also from here you can open it up, uh, the glass roof and also the rear, uh, real light if you want to open the light in the back. So, um, yeah, what can I say? I think I show you almost everything uh, about this car, guys and i think you make an idea about uh, the car so what can i say more um, i hope you enjoy this full review with the new skoda superb ev um, sportline plug-in hybrid 2020 uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of those videos also Thank you again for watching my videos guys, it means a lot for me, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to check out the other videos. Also if you want to see the test drive with this car, check out on my channel, I have a test drive with it and uh, maybe it's there the video yet or maybe it comes uh, next, uh, I don't know, depend how I upload the videos. Thank you again for watching, if you have question about the car ask me in the comment, please ask me, please tell me your feedbacks, tell me what you think and um yeah thank you again 